Alright guys, so if you guys didn't know, right now if you guys start Cooking on Kingdom, a fresh new account, then you guys are actually able to obtain up to 100 cookie cutters as well as 3000 crystals which is pretty much worth about 33,000 crystals to start off the game so in this video I want to try and start a new account here and show you guys exactly how much you are getting and kind of do a little bit of a new gotcha video for you guys so that you guys are entertained and as well as share a method that I use when I do my re-rolling for any gotcha game that is available on the Google Play Store. So here we go guys, let's start a new account and let me show you guys exactly how good this luck is going to be and the rewards that are going to be available for any of the new players that are deciding to start the game right now before the Disney update drops. Alright, so first of all, let me introduce the emulator that I am going to be using for my computer and that is going to be LD Player 9. So once again, I did already promote LD Player a lot recently, however, this one is going to be a newly updated version of LD Player. So if you guys go to the link down in the description where I have the link to download LD Player 9 for your PC computer, then you guys are going to have this option to go to the LD Multiplayer. And this is actually going to allow you to make multiple instances of the emulator and play at the same time so that you guys can speed up that re-rolling process. So right now, this one is going to be a main account, so I'm actually going to leave that there. What I'm gonna actually do here is going to click on this new slash clone, and I will be using uh, the small disk mode and create multiple instances of these LD players. So I'm gonna create four different ones right now and then start them all at the same time here. And of course, depending on the spec of the PC, it might be a little bit slower, but it is a definitely a better method than you know logging in and out and in and out and trying to create new accounts because you can do it all at the same time. But first of all, I am going to log into my Google Play account and let me download Cooker and Kingdom on all of them and start opening it up. All right, guys, so I have all of them opened up and are all four of the emulators I have Cooker and Kingdom downloaded. So what I'm gonna do is quickly go and click on sign in with guests and we just play as guests right now. And then I am actually going to be starting each of these account in Dark Account Server. So for any of the new players who are watching this video right now, then definitely I recommend you guys go into Dark Account Server rather than entering the Pure Vanilla Server. All right, so here we go. Let me just open these all up at the same time and quickly uh, do the first process, which is going to be looking at all of the story and then, uh, you know, doing the basic tutorial before we are able to do that gotcha. And while I'm playing the tutorial right now, I want to quickly talk about why I love LD Player and I why I use it over the other emulators that are out there like Bluestack. Uh, the reason why I've been using LD Player for the longest time now, ever since I started the Cookie Run uh, YouTube channel and things like that, is because of the fact of how smoothly it runs. Like I said before, this is going to be the upgraded version of the LD Player, which is going to be called LD Player 9. And pretty much this thing is so smooth right now, guys. Uh, compared to the other one, of course, there were some lags and things like that. But right now for the LD Player 9, it is pretty much, I would have to say, optimized for the gameplay of Cooker and Kingdom. I have to say this is probably going to be the least laggiest emulator that I have used so far, pairing it directly to Blue Stacks. So I would definitely recommend you guys try out LD Player, which like I said, you guys can download using the link down in the description. It will directly lead you to the Cooker and Kingdom page of LD Player. And then all you have to do is click on the download and then download the LD Player 9 and start your journey for your Cookie Run Kingdom. Anyway, since I got all of that stuff out of the way, let me skip over all of the tutorial part and get to the gotcha section so that we can start our re-rolling process. Okay, so we have done all of the tutorial, gone through everything, and now we are in this section. If you guys click on this right here on the mailbox, you're gonna be able to see all of these rewards that are given out to every single new player that is starting right now. So definitely recommend you guys to take advantage of it. Look at all these stuff you are getting. And after you guys claim all all of that you guys can go to the info section which is going to be found in settings you can actually create a dead play account clicking on uh, link dead play and then signing with email you can create any email that you guys want and you guys can see I went with lucky ruly one uh, so you guys can do that and then claim these 3,000 crystals in order to have extra temples for your gacha alright so we are now going to be starting off our gacha reroll here with 
100 cookie cutters as well as 3300 uh, crystals here so here we go guys let's start the gacha session okay so here we go i named myself lucky one on this account in korean because it was apparently taken in english so here we go we're gonna start it off finish here cookie one of the best defense cookie right now so let's see how good our luck is going to be let's start off no we are gonna start off with some rares uh we did get finish here soul stone but here we go can we get the custard Ooh. Shit, never mind. We're going to start out with Crunchy Chip here, which is not going to be bad here, guys. Definitely something that is going to be a good cookie to use uh, for the summoners. Let's see how good this is going to be here. We got first epic from the 20 pool here. We're going to get some more soul stones. Ooh, here we go. That's going to be a guaranteed epic here we got. So I'm just going to skip that real quick. What are we getting? What are we getting? Oh <laughs> Wow! The reroll luck is absolutely busted. We got... <laughs> we got Oyster Cookie start here, guys. That is insane. Are we getting to get some more here? Are we getting more? Nope, just getting an Oyster here, but still. <laughs> oh, that was... What? I don't know, 40 pool, and we got Oyster as well as Crunchy Chip. That's two summoners already, guys. That's crazy. Okay, okay, nothing here uh, except we got some Finis here, Eclair, as well as Seafairy Soul Stone. Here we go. All right, nothing but three and one uh, extra Soul Stone here, four total. Nothing here as well, I guess. More Finis here, Soul Stones, but we're going to use our Crystals here. And more Rares. All right. I mean, super epic so i mean i'm not complaining but finis here did not come out which is kind of weird uh we're just gonna actually do the single ones. the moment i say that right the moment i say finis here doesn't come out and we're gonna do a single she actually comes out that is three all right epic plus that we got from what 81 pulls <sighs> okay that is not bad at all. Now we're going with the normal regular cookie cutters here. And let's see if we're going to get anything here. Nothing here. Something here. Nope, nothing here as well. But last one here, guys. Ooh, we got Herb. That's a healer as well. So now we got four. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. And the last one here. And that is going to be it. All right. So that is definitely not a bad gotcha reroll to start with here. That is not a bad team for the start, guys. That is definitely not a bad team for a start. So Lucky One is going to have four epics or four epic plus that we got from the reroll. All right. All right. Now moving on to Lucky Two here, guys. The second one. All right. So the first reroll is actually really, really good. So I'm excited to see what we're going to get on these. Ooh, okay. Starting out with Espresso for the first 10 pull. Very, very good because one of the best DPS we got going on right now, especially because of the magic candy, right? All right. So Espresso is going to be our first epic and a back to back as well. All right. We're just going to skip it just to see. Get surprised. All right. We got Financier here. So we got a tank and a DPS from the two 10 pulls that we did. Very, very good. I love this gotcha scene. The music is so nice as well. And a Hollowberry Soul Stone on top of that. Getting a bunch of rares that, you know, we're going to need a little animation for. Keep going. Nothing here but Soul Stones. I think that's pretty much almost all of the rares that we need to get. All right, here we go. More. More rares. All right, never mind. We're not done with rares. All right. Next, last one here for this. Let's see Fairy Soul Stone. Here we go. 3,000 Crystal. Angel Cookie. All right, are we going to get any Epic? No, we did not get any Epic except for Espresso and Financier. So moving on to the normal Special Cookie Cutters here. All right, that's it. I guess this one is not as lucky. Pumpkin Pie. If we got Pumpkin Pie on our other reroll, that would have been actually absolutely busted, all right? Because we would have gotten like three summoners. Uh, but definitely not a bad pull on this one. All right, last cookie cutter here. 
and it is going to be Angel Soul Stone. So only two epics on this. Actually, no, three epics. Sorry. So we got this so far. All right. Now moving on to the third account. All right. So we got lucky three here. Now let's see what we get here. I'm actually having fun doing this here. <laughs> you know who that is. All oh, right. There's a new gotcha animation for Purple Yam. This is actually my first time seeing it. Ooh, fancy. All right, I, I see you. Not not a normal normal epic cookie anymore. Getting that new recognition. I like that. Starting off with Purple Yam, the other one with the magic candy, who honestly is not bad at all anymore because of the fact that he has a nasty sustain uh, inside of Cookie Alliance and inside of the arena as well. So here we go, more pulls. All right, here we go. Uh, sparkling? All right, it's sparkling on this one. Eh, not a bad, bad healer, but not the best either. I would say for better, uh, like beginner account, Herb is going to be the best. Of course, Pure Vanilla is amazing as well. So, so far, two uh, is going to be Sparkling and Purple Yam. And then nothing here as well. Last, not last. I keep saying last, but I keep forgetting that there's the 3,000 crystals. All right, nothing here as well. 3,000 crystals, the temple. All right, we're just going to move on here. See if we got anything other than that. Only rares. And last temple here. And we're not seeing any. Oh, never mind. We're going to see Twizzly. Not a bad pull, but not the best pull either here. So, Twizzly Gummy. Did carry me for a while for the No Cookie Gotcha account. So, there we go. And. That's going to be it. So we have Purple Yam, Sparkling, and Twizzly Gummy for this one. So now moving on to the last reroll, which is going to be Lucky 4. All right, so Lucky 4 here. I would have done up to Lucky 7, but, you know, it's going to take a long time and the video will be longer. So we're just going to stop at Lucky 4 and see how lucky we are going to get. Are we going to be able to beat our first reroll count? Or is the first one actually going to be the luckiest one out of all? But here we go. Okay, so we got Muscle Cookie. Here we go. All right, nothing here. Not the best, uh, best looking one here so far. More rares. Okay, we got Darker Council Stone. And here we go, Clover and Custer coming out finally. Are we gonna get more than one here? That's gonna be the biggest question, I would have to say. Um, and we are just getting one. All right, we're just gonna skip and see what we get. Ah, it's Rye, it's Rye, all right. Maybe sooner or later, Rai will get a Magic Candy as well. All right, and a Hollowberry Soul Stone. We got 20 more with the Cookie Cutters. And Dark Cow Soul Stone. We're going to do one more here. And I guess that is just going to be the rares. All right, we got a bunch of Financier Soul Stone here. Made it up to 14, but we're going to do our last temple on the Feature Banner with the Crystals. And we are going to get Financier. All right, that's good. That's good stuff. Let's just admire the gotcha scene. The gotcha animation. Alright, there we go. At least we got finished here. Um, and moving on to the cookie cutters here. The special cookie cutters. Alright, nothing on the first one. And we got Clover and Custer one more time. Can we get more than one though? Can we get more than one? Nope. And we're just going to get one. Okay, it's going to be Kumio. Not bad, but not the best either, I will have to say. And the last one, it is going to be an epic here, guys, with the Clover and Custer. Can we get more than one? Can we please get more than one? Nope. And it's just going to be one. I'll deliver only perfection, is it? Oh, Mint Choco. Alright, so... I will have to say this is not a bad one, but not the best one either. Actually, we're missing one of that single gancha here, guys. Let's just do this and see what we get. Alright, we got Carrot. 
Okay, so I will have to say the first free roll was pretty much the best one so far here, guys. I don't know how, but we just got super epic right away. And on this one, at least, we are going to be getting the two out the front, two DPS and a healer. So not a bad re-roll, but uh, definitely not as good as the first one. All right, guys, so that is going to be the end of the re-rolling process. A very simple process. I have to say each of the re-rolls take pretty much like, I will have to say, uh, three minutes at most to kind of get all of the stuff and then do the re-rolling process So it, it definitely does not take very long uh, and I'll have to say this one is a very good re-roll So if you guys are interested in taking this account, I'm gonna give it away uh, So if you guys want to win this account leave a comment down below and say hashtag giveaway And I'll choose one of the commenters and give this account away to you guys Anyways guys check out LD player I definitely recommend you guys do so if you guys do want to play cookie run kingdom on your PC just like me uh, once again, the link can be found down in the description below. And I do want to thank LD Player for sponsoring this video. And my final word to you guys is definitely take advantage of this re-rolling process as well as a reward before it goes away. Uh, we don't know exactly when it is going to go away, but it is definitely going to be something that you guys should look into, especially because starting a new secondary account definitely will help out in later on events like when you guys have to send gifts to each other and things like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck with your re-rolling. If you guys are planning to do so, check out LD Player once again, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.